an example of what my day has been like from the very beginning. Five minutes late, just perpetually five minutes late today. That's just the way it's rolling. Started with like, I woke up and should I work out? And uh, five minutes late for that. And then my daughter had a dentist appointment and not one, not two, not three, four teeth pulled, gang, four teeth. I mean, holy mackinole. And then it just all kind of rolled from there. So it feels like the perfect day to talk about capsule wardrobe. I need a capsule wardrobe and so do you. And I mean, this word feels kind of loaded and big, right? I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, a capsule wardrobe is not about having seven pieces in your closet and that's all you have and that's all you wear and you just rotate them through and all you wear is black and white and khaki and that's not what a capsule wardrobe needs to be. Now, if that is your jam, you do you and you embrace that. But when I think about a capsule wardrobe, what I really think about are what are those kind of workhorse pieces you can just mix and match and are the foundations of your closet that are really easy to put on to make you feel good, that go with a heck of a lot of stuff that can be dressed up or dressed down and just get you through whatever season you're in. So I think capsules look a little different from season to season. I think capsules look a little bit different from person to person. But I find this time of year is tricky, tricky, tricky. It was super cold last week. It's getting warmer this week. Here in Minnesota, when it's warm, and when I say warm, I mean 40 degrees, everyone is like, woo, it's like sunshine, and they're wearing shorts, and it's crazy town. So, but it's still cold. I mean, the reality is you think it's warm, and you go outside, and you're freezing. So you do need some of those in-between pieces. So I thought, how fun for us to just embrace what's going on right now and think about a capsule wardrobe for this in-between season. Are you with me? Okay, we're gonna run through all the favorite pieces. I can't wait to talk about it. I know that this always brings up a ton of questions. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for you and I wanna hear what you guys are wondering about, right? Those layers that you need, those great easy pieces, whatever else you can think of. I just ask the questions away. But we're gonna start from the very beginning. So when I build a capsule, what I first think about are the pieces that I'm gonna wear the most, which for me, kind of always comes down to bottoms. I don't know about you, but I've got, you guys have seen my closet when I do stories, right? I've got a stack of width of, stack of denim, so, so high, so, so big, and I find I reach for the same three pairs over and over again. So I did the legwork for you, pun intended, and here is the jean you need. You need a good straight leg denim. Now it can be a little destructed, it can be a little bit clean, but this is absolutely positively the jean you need to update your wardrobe and to kind of build from. This is what looks fresh. I know there are a ton of you out there who did not shop last year, and if you did, you most certainly did not buy jeans. I hear ya, I see ya. And so we're gonna get you a pair of jeans that can just update your wardrobe like that. Now here's the thing I'm gonna tell you right now. I know there's all this talk about skinny jeans not being relevant. Pasha, I say pasha to that. I still love myself a good skinny jean, but I do think that a straight leg, more relaxed denim with a higher waist absolutely updates your wardrobe and really feels fun with some of the other pieces. So I've gone on, you're not gonna find this any surprise, the A. Goldie Riley. Now this is a cleaner wash, and the reason I grabbed this is because I know that sometimes we just don't want destruction. Now it comes in this amazing, kind of darker blue clean wash. I also happen to think that this bluer wash is really, really crazy flattering, but it also comes in a more destructed version. Truth be told, I have both colors because sometimes I want no destruction and sometimes I want destruction. Sometimes I just wanna be a little more clean, a little more refined. Sometimes I wanna add a little bit more edge. I find that this is the one I wear maybe for work or if I'm wearing a top that has a little bit more edginess to it, I find that these are the jeans I wear for like date night, even if date night means still sitting at home, but I wanna jazz it up, or I'm just wearing a cleaner top and I want a little bit of interest in it. So two ways to go, how does this fit? I find it runs true to size. It definitely has a higher waist, so if you have not gotten yourself into a higher rise denim, this is a good one to try. It really does hold the bum in. I am 5'4", it hits me right at my ankle. Sometimes I do a little bit of a cuff just to show a little bit more but it is one of my absolute favorite fitting jeans out there. I just wanna see if anyone has any questions, right? Do you love this? This is such a good jean, guys. And if you wanna see what this looks like on, 
we wore this for reals myself mel ash and meg so you can see what this jean looks like it looks fabulous on so many body types one of my face so straight leg denim a goldie riley one of my favorites but i did pull two others that i think are pretty pretty groovy the first is cut this is the rachel now very similar fit lower price point which is always lovely from cut kind of in between right so not as much destruction as that lighter wash but more destruction than the wash i'm wearing right now i really like this guy it has a lot of stretch in it which feels really good and that wider leg opening very very flattering this also has a raw hem so for those of you that are a little bit more petite and want more of that ankle showing and i think that is a key part of this straight leg denim get that ankle out in the air you want your ankle showing it gives you longer legs it shows off your kicks and your sneakers i'm for sure gonna sneeze so bear with me i have a horrible sneeze it's very quiet and very strange so i'm gonna keep looking at the light and see how it goes away but i do love this cut jean i think it's a fabulous fit and it's a really nice kind of blend between these two riley offerings darker wash like the one i have on now a little bit more destruction like this guy really fun one this is the rachel so foundation piece now one more option this has been kind of a little sleeper style but one of the reasons i absolutely love it it's the cleanest straight we have out there now this is from citizens of humanity this is the charlotte now the charlotte we have had in our assortment gosh i don't even know for how long a, a while now but it's I think this maybe brand is a little bit newer to you what do we love about citizens well citizens and a goldie are actually the same company citizens is their more elevated brand I find they do fit a little bit different now I think the rise and kind of this portion of a goldie tends to run a little bit longer than the citizens line does so if you have a little bit shorter torso, if your rise is a little bit shorter, I think Citizens is a really lovely fit. I also really like Citizens if you have a little bit more of a boyish figure. If you are more straight up and down, Citizens is really flattering and gives you a nice tush if you don't have one. Now, I still think it works great for curve because I carry a little bit more weight here, especially in my legs, and I am a tried and true Citizens lover but there are some subtle differences. Just a really classy, classic jean to have in your wardrobe. And again, you guys, of all the versions, this is the cleanest, even cleaner than the Riley. No destruction on the hem, no destruction on the pocket. So if you want that just easy, goes with everything, goes everywhere jean, the Charlotte from Citizens is a fabulous foundation piece. So great, right? I know, old Citizens, right? I mean, Citizens, it was one of those brands that's kind of been around forever. They were one of the OG premium denim brands. They keep going because they have just nailed that vintage look with an incredible fit. So one of my faves, so many ways to do it. I wish I could try these on. Maybe I'll try them on in the stories for you so you can see. Um, but they are a really wonderful straight leg. So, all right, foundation straight leg denim now what are we wearing with the straight leg denim like let's talk about it for a hot second well you need a good core tank now i know all of you have been doing your curls right your curls for the girls the girls meaning your daughters in preparation of the muscle tank that is coming for spring i'm just kidding you guys you don't need to do curls for this here's why we love the muscle tank it gives you a tiny bit more coverage on the shoulder, kind of goes with everything, and just a good tank is such a fabulous foundation piece to put kind of under anything or wear on its own. Now, I have another tank I'm going to show you that has a more open neckline, so if you're a crew gal or a v-neck gal, I've got options for both, but let's talk about this crew neck from Michael Stars. Now, this is the Iris tank. We had this last year. You might remember it. We had it in tie-dye, it was absolutely stunning. Well, it's so good, we brought it back in an even better fit. Now, why do I love this? Well, number one, I love the crew. I tend to 
because I'm more petite, I like having a little bit more coverage up here. It helps me feel a little bit longer. Sometimes I just don't want a V. I want a little bit more coverage here. And sometimes with a jacket, I don't like that V. I like a cleaner line. So number one. Number two, I love this muscle tank shape on the sleeve. Now, it's not cutting away the way a normal tank would, right? It's sitting more just on the top of your shoulder. I have very broad shoulders. I actually think it makes me feel strong. It makes me feel good. So I really like it. Number three, I tucked it in so you guys could see, but I'm going to untuck it for you. It's not crazy long. So this guy looks really good with a cutoff. It looks great half tucked with a jean, right? Because it's not so long. You're not shoving it all in there or really fabulous all the way tucked in. I know so many hearts for this guy. Also, Michael Stars. So you know the quality of the cotton is fantastic because it's so comfortable. But here's the kicker. This is a collector. And when I mean that, I just mean you're going to want more than one. So I'm wearing the black. I'm going to grab all the colors this puppy comes in. It also comes in a core white. And this white is fantastic because it's not too see-through. Right? It's just sheer enough that it feels light and feminine and pretty, but not see-through that you feel like you're showing the world what's going on. And then it also comes in two fabulous prints. This yummy kind of, I call it like camel, kind of camel, kind of camo, kind of animal in this great kind of soft green color. And then this horizontal black and gray tie-dye, which I think looks so fresh and so fun and is so easy collectible meaning get more than one because it looks so great on so many body types you are going to want this now with jeans you're going to want it later with cutoffs it looks fantastic with sneak peek skirts that are coming if you are not a shirt a short gal and i don't mean height i mean shorts if you don't love shorts for summer skirts are absolutely going to be a thing this spring and summer and it's so nice to have a muscle tank to just pair back to it i think it's kind of a blend of that feminine and masculine which i always like so it doesn't feel too sweet doesn't feel too hard so one of our absolute favorites i absolutely love this guy now if you want a little bit more opening in your neckline and i hear you i get it there is a fabulous brand new tank we just got in that has a beautiful v-neck also has just this great lines on it and really easy to wear. Now I'm showing you the coral color because it's so fun. This is from Z Supply. This is the City Tank. So it comes in coral, a great white, and a great black. Let's look at the white just because I think you can see the detail the best on this. Why do we love this guy? Now, this is going to have a little bit more drape, I think, than the Michael Stars Iris. This Iris is 100% cotton. It's got a little bit more of, I think, a dry hand to it. This guy a little bit more swingy. Now, in a good way. I think this lovely underneath a jacket. You can dress this puppy up a little bit. It also has a racer back, so sexy, sexy, pretty, pretty. Love that about it. And I love this wider band around the neckline and around the sleeve. I think that's so nice. It just looks like an elevated finish to an otherwise pretty core tank. And that attention to detail, I think, is what makes this guy so special. Also, P.S. at $39, I mean, come on, it's a steal, right? A total steal. So why do you need a great tank? Well, this time of year when we're thinking about layering, and like sometimes the morning starts off cold, right? And then it ends up warmer. I know I saw someone was from Arizona, and I'm sure right now I know what the weather's like there, right? You start off and it's like 40 in the morning, and then suddenly it's 70, and what the heck? You're shedding and putting on layers like crazy. This tank... Whichever direction you go, crew or V, is such a fabulous piece to put on underneath a jacket or underneath an easy little sweatshirt. So, surprise, surprise, that's going to be my next piece. What do you need when it comes to that layer? Well, let's start off with a fun sweatshirt, right? I just find I'm always gravitating towards an easy little novelty sweatshirt that feels playful, that looks good with jeans, and then even on those warmer days, I can pop it on with shorts, and it's gonna last me all season. So I grabbed a couple faves, kind of two different categories. The first is a print. Now, I mean, you just, if you're gonna embrace a print, I want it to be something that I don't get tired of after wearing it twice. That seems silly. And so my go-to print, when I'm looking for something that feels like it's got a little kick to it, but isn't repetitive, repetitive, is camo. 
So two different options here in a camo sweatshirt. The first is from Sundry. I'm digging this guy with this little neon hit, so fun. Now this is a great one because it's both a wider neckline, you can wear it normal, or slip it off the shoulder for a little sexy moment. So cute with jeans, but still getting pretty neutral. So you can really wear this a lot of ways. I love, love, love this with black. I think it also looks great with blue. Super cute with a lighter wash because I think that really pops the print. And there's something about that little sporty neon stripe that I think is so playful and fun. Now, if you want to go a little bit lighter, especially again, if you are living in a warmer climate and you just want lighter and brighter right now, this is such a fun option, right? An unexpected camo print, but still feels really neutral. Now, I love this guy. Again, back to denim, and then I'm going to show you a great little pant that also would complement this so well. This is one of those rare moments when even if you are a blonde, you can wear yellow because it's mixed back to some other neutrals. Really fun, really easy. This is almost borderline, along with this sundry, that kind of t-shirt, sweatshirt combo. Not too heavy, not too light. I was, I've been kind of calling it the like t-shirt sweatshirt, like something in between. Weight, perfect for this time of year because it's not too heavy and you can pop it on underneath a jacket. Now, if you are digging the crew neck, you want to print, this is the direction I would go. But I'm also sometimes looking for just a solid and that's why I pulled both of these sundry sweatshirts because I think to me these scream spring. This is not a color you're gonna buy in the middle of December. This is a color you're gonna buy when you are just dying for that sunshine to come your way. So two different hoodies, and I think the hoodie part is the part I really wanna call attention to. Why we love hoodies. So fun, layered underneath a jacket. I'm actually gonna show you how to do that because we're gonna talk about jackets in a hot second. Which one, gang, which one should I put on? What do you think? Preference, preference, we'll go green, just for fun, let's go green. So little hoodie comes in, you know, I love that purple, but let's just stay on this green neon train for just a hot second. Again, not super heavyweight, you know how Sundry does that fabulous drape in their sweatshirts, it's just so yummy and so easy. I also think the little taping on the neckline of this is so darn cute. And I mean, Hello, 1987. I see your neon and I'm bringing it back. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna look even cuter than I did when I was itty bitty and maybe maybe rocking this in hypercolor. Do you guys remember hypercolor? That's definitely a kid thing, right? Like as an adult, you do not want to wear hypercolor. Like what if you're hot and all of a sudden like your shirt's changing color under here? This could happen, right? Okay, so here's the deal with this guy. Lighter weight, fun little taping here, hoodie in the back. Now. This is done, right? So easy with a little jean. I might do a little half tuck on this just so I get some waist shaping. But what I think is so fun about a hoodie is how you can layer this underneath the jacket and let that hoodie pop out. You get a sporty kind of vibe to it. Now, I'm gonna grab this little camo jacket. Have you been hearing that word around town? Yeah, it's like a thing. It's a shirt and a jacket combined. They had a baby. They made this amazing piece and really what it means, gang, is this. It's more of a shirting silhouette but in a little bit heavier weight like a jacket. Now I've seen a ton of versions of this this winter that were in like fleece, Sherpa, heavier weight. I love this guy from Level because it's a stretch linen. So it's perfect for this time of year. Now super fun to wear with this neon, unexpected combination I think. And it's a really fun layer when you just want something different. Now, of course, this would be so darn easy to wear with a jean jacket. I mean, that's a no-brainer. I've got one of my faves right here. We'll talk about that in a second. But I think the jacket is like a really fresh and fun way to do a jacket layer. And the other thing I think is fantastic about the jacket, it's a dress-up, dress-down. So it can be Super, super casual, right? I've got my little hoodie poking out here. Just done in a casual way with my jeans, ready to run around town. But if I wanted to dress it up, maybe I just keep on my little black tank, my clean jeans, and I put on a slide, I feel more elevated. Pop it on over a dress, I'm more elevated still. Look at the crazy amount of stretch, right? So easy to move in, 
so fun to wear. Guys, this is a gotta have it in your closet. I'm telling you, you're not gonna regret it. Love, love, love. So we have talked about that core tank that you need, right? A V or a crew. We've talked about that straight leg denim, be it destructed or clean, whatever your need is. The layer you need, so a great little sweatshirt. Maybe you want something printed, and I'm loving camo, or you do something solid in a hoodie, which ends up being this fun kind of sporty layer. Now let's talk jackets. We've got this great jacket and then the other piece I'm always thinking about when I come to spring season is a fantastic denim jacket. Now you have heard my love for this jacket. This is the Amelia from Cut. It is hands down our best selling denim jacket from Cut for a darn good reason. There's a crazy amount of stretch in this puppy. It looks great over dresses. It looks great with jeans. It looks great with a utility pant comes in a multitude of washes cut just makes such a awesome fitting jacket I just always say these fit like a glove I hate it when my denim jackets are too stiff and I can't lift my arms this guy's so so easy to wear I'm gonna pop it on actually over this hoodie just so you can see how fun it is dang this hoodie's cute I mean it's so fun right it's just an unexpected color, and I would say when it comes to a capsule wardrobe, this is where I think it's fun to play, is get one piece or two pieces that have a little bit more personality in them to add a little zazazu to your look. Okay, so here's that Amelia jacket. Again, guys, I'm wearing tank sweatshirt. It's a lot of layers, but I want you to see how easy this Amelia jacket is to pop on. Okay, so much stretch in this. Pop that hoodie out of my jacket, and now I've got another layer. I mean, look at that. So easy, right? Now, if I was going to be styling this, I probably wouldn't do denim on denim, or at least I wouldn't do the same wash. I'd probably pop on my Raleigh's, my other Raleigh's that are a little bit lighter wash, or i do my utility pant. Give myself a little sleeve roll so I can show a little bit of wrist, a little bit more skin good to go and under a hundred dollars this amelia denim jacket is such a steal because your cost per wear will be so low does anyone else do that equation i know you've heard me talk about it i do that with all of my pieces how many times am i going to wear it divide that by the cost and if my cost per wear is low i know it is a staple item that is what capsule wardrobes are made of okay so running down straight leg tank Easy layering sweatshirt, fantastic jacket. Let's talk about another bottom that I think adds some really fun interest to your look. I'm gonna pop this off just for a hot second because we're gonna talk about other tops too that are so great. Okay, the other bottom that I put in, especially in springtime, when I'm looking for something other than denim, but maybe these gams are not ready to show the light of day in a short or a skirt is a fantastic utility pant. Now, you guys, have you put on your bod that Lara Utility from Level 99? So same brand as our fantastic jacket. This pant is so yummy, so fun, so darn easy to wear. So super, super stretchy, really easy to put on. There's like someone in my house. Here's to hoping that we know who it is. Okay, so super easy to put on. It's got a jogger bottom, zipper on the bottom here, really easy to slip on, and it comes in three different colors. So I love this dark, dark camel. Check it out so dark so yummy it almost kind of blends in right so fun then you've got this great green and then that staple black this is something you're going to wear all the time i'm going to close my door so make sure that no one can hear okay so easy easy black something you can wear all the time now why i love the utility pant is kind of a counter to my denim because you can dress it up or dress it down. It can be casual. It's a little bit more elevated than your knit joggers, which we've all have been loving and living in. But if I'm looking for something that's just easy, right, to put on and would look fantastic with my little hoodie or that jacket or just my muscle tank, this is my answer, right? Love, love, love this guy. 
fits like a dream, lots of stretch, really, really easy to wear. Now, when I think about an outfit I want to put together with it, well, yeah, our muscle tank or a great little v-neck tank from Z Supply is such an easy option, but I also think you need what I'm going to bucket as like that novelty tee. So this is a tee that has a little bit of personality to it and has a little bit more arm coverage. That is a harder thing to find. So I grabbed some of my favorites to walk you guys through because I think this is something that works so well with almost any bottom we have. So starting from the top, the first is this Tabitha T from Nation. Now this comes in a couple different colors. You've got this great little animal print. And remember when I was talking about the idea of a castle wardrobe, if you need a couple Zaza Zoo pieces, like this, or maybe your camo sweatshirt, or that neon green hoodie, something that has a little bit more punch to it. I love the Tabitha because it is a more open v-neck, so if you are curvy on top, crazy flattering, if you're loving that layered necklace trend, a great way to show it off. Animal, white, as well as black. I just wanna make sure I'm getting more questions. Okay, good. Okay, so this is a really, really easy one to wear. If you are not a v-neck gal, or if you are more petite through your torso, I grabbed this bobby tee. Now, I call this kind of our, one of our sleeper pieces. You guys know I always grab one, at least one of these during live because they are those pieces that kind of go by and you didn't catch how fantastic they are. Now, I love, love, love this tee. It's a little bit shorter length, not cropped. But I like it because with that higher rise jean, I don't have to worry about all the tuck. It's an easy little half tuck moment. Comes in black and white, but here's the thing that makes this guy sing. This great little volume balloon sleeve. So really easy, adds a little bit of interest. Still, both of these, fantastic to layer underneath your shacket. But if you're looking for a little bit more coverage and or you just want something that is not a core tee, such an easy way to go, right? So fun. So your Tabitha or your Bobby T, both really great pieces to just build your wardrobe on. All right, speaking of novelty, I cannot, cannot build a castle wardrobe without a graphic tee. You just need one. Here's the deal. So I'm thinking about all the fun graphics that are kind of out there right now. Say what you feel, spread the love, spread the kindness. So many options. So I grabbed a couple of great ones that I'm digging. Now you guys know how much I love Spiritual Gangster because of the fit. It's not oversized, it's not crazy relaxed. It's got a beautiful cut in on the shoulder. So really, really flattering. And I always think the messaging is so spot on. So love this guy, love, kindness, grace, and happiness. And in this core gray, easy back to denim and back to your utility bottom. I also grabbed this guy. This is actually exclusive to Every Eve, so you can only get it at Every Eve. This little love tank, but again, in black. So easy to wear here or with a little hoodie over it. If you're looking for something more print. So now if you've gone more solid in some of your other pieces, this is a really fun piece and looks fantastic with blue denim. Or I had to grab our Chaser with Heart tank. Now, this guy, you know how much we love it. Black with the gold foil, green with the black, white with the gold, and then this yummy, yummy pink. I don't think you can go wrong in any combination. I'm kind of partial in a capsule wardrobe, honestly, gang, to one of these front three. I think that they go with so many things and are so easy to wear. Great with that utility bottom, really cute with denim, great with the jacket over, great with the denim jacket over. Lightweight enough and easy enough to wear underneath a sweatshirt if you need an extra layer. So fun and only available at Every Eve. Absolutely one of my favorites. Gotta get this guy, so, so good. Okay, two more pieces in that capsule wardrobe that I just wanna talk about. So we talked about the great jacket layer, which I am a huge believer in. What if you just feel like you don't need a jacket right now, but you still want something that feels a little bit more put together? Ding, 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 I've got your answer. You need a button down shirt. Did you catch Ashley's stories this week? She did a whole tutorial on how to style a denim shirt. Now here's why this little shirt, be it in this great chambray wash or in the white, is so fantastic. 
it is more relaxed, so you're not gonna have to worry about ironing or stiffness or formality in it. This is a relaxed piece, guys. Really, really easy to wear. Number two, soft as can be. So we're not talking about ironing here. We're not talking about super stiff collars. We're talking about this yummy, yummy fabric that feels as good as a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. But what I really love about a good button down shirt is how crazy versatile it is. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Denim on denim, heck yeah. Amazing with utility, yes you can. Great under a jacket, layer it under a sweatshirt. So many options. Also, you can treat it like a jacket. So if you are looking for something a little bit more lightweight, this is such an easy piece to wear kind of as a cheater jacket. So we're gonna do this test, which is like when I try to unbutton things on live, which gosh, love you guys for hanging in there with me when I do this, because I, I mean, you'd think after four years of buttoning and unbuttoning things that I'd be better at this, but I'm just not. And I should just remember to unbutton. These are cloth and stone, absolutely. So you know what that means. I mean, yummy, yummy. Now Ash talked about the sizing and the fit on this guy. I'm gonna take out this muscle tank just so you guys can see it over more of a cami because that's probably more how you're gonna wear it, okay? So, here we go. I'm just popping on the white because Ash wore the denim and I want you to see the difference. Now, she talked a lot about sizing on this one. She felt like if she wanted it more tailored, she'd wear her true size. If she wanted it more relaxed, she'd go up a size. I agree with her on that 100%. So you wanna think about what the shirt how you think you're gonna wear it. I have a total itch in my nose. Oh man, you guys, all the things today. So if you're gonna be wearing it more relaxed, more casual, this is my normal size. You can see, I mean, it's relaxed, but not crazy oversized. If I wanted it to feel more like a just casual, kind of throw it on layer jacket, I might go up a size. But for kicks, let's just go with the size I'm wearing, right? Or my normal size. Now, layered over just a graphic tee, Here's a tip, unbutton those sleeves to make it feel a little bit more relaxed, okay? And it just feels like a cash, easy jacket. Even roll them up, fun thing to do. Or take that fun little sweatshirt, where's my little Payne Jensen guy, throw it on over that. Now you've got an extra layer. So, so easy to wear. But equally chic and put together because there's nothing better then I believe a white button down and a killer pair of jeans. I mean, there is nothing better. And then you've got this great little stacked layered necklace. I mean, doesn't, don't you just feel like a million bucks when you've gotten on a good shirt? I think so. We're gonna do a couple tutorials for you guys on shirting just so you guys can see what our options are. I should definitely button that one because that looks a little funky. But here's a, just another way to wear it. Relaxed open neckline, I've got my sleeve undone here, so I'd roll it up, done, right? So easy, and so that's one of the reasons I just love a good white shirt or a denim shirt, because it can kind of function as a jacket, but then you get to wear it on its own and instantly feel put together, so, so fun. Okay, last piece. This is that ultimate transition piece, and it's a little black dress or jumpsuit. Little black dress or jumpsuit. Everybody needs one, and I grabbed a couple of options depending on what you think you really are going to wear this for. So the first piece I grabbed was that Z Supply Reverie Dress. This is our most, I'd say, of the group that I pulled, probably like our most versatile, meaning I love this guy with a jacket over it. I think you can pop this on with a mule or a little wedge, or you can wear it with a Burke or a Freedom Moses and it goes like up or down so darn easy. True to size, Mel wore this in her stories this week. Make sure you check it out to see what it looks like on. She's wearing the black and white stripe. I just love the black because I think it's just the clean slate, easy piece to wear, perfect for vacay, does all the things. Now, if you are looking for the ultimate flattering, crazy flattering piece, that's why I grabbed this Michael Stars jumpsuit. Now, I wore this in stories a couple weeks ago. You guys ate, ate, ate it up. It also comes in a great little utility green if you're looking for a different color. More of a cropped length, spaghetti strap sleeves, but the secret sauce in this one is absolutely that elastic waistband. It gives you some really nice shape. 
Now, if you're looking for something that can toe the line and go like a little bit sexy, that's when I grab this Michael Starr's rib dress. We've had lots of conversations about this in live and stories. You guys are curious. Does this fit everybody? Oh yeah, it does. It's called a magic dress. Keep your eyes out, guys. I am going to make everyone in the style crew wear this so you can see how it looks on a bunch of different body types. Hands down, my favorite dress we have because you can dress it up, dress it down, and no fail on my crummiest days. We're talking the days like after your period, when you had too much to eat, when you're feeling kind of sluggish, this dress turns it around like nobody's business. So we're going to put it all on for you, but I know this is one of our most reviewed items too. So send the love about this guy. And then last but not least, if you're kind of still digging that jumpsuit trend, I did grab the Good American jumpsuit because if you want something that's not a knit, feels like a knit because of all the stretch and feels a little bit more put together, love this guy. Now remember, this jumpsuit runs small. I actually went up two sizes in this and it just fit like a glove, felt really good on, one of my absolute favorites. So, Capsule wardrobe. Do we cover it all? I don't know. Do we do it? Let's let's run down the list. We're gonna start with an amazing pair of straight leg denim. Yep, we are. Be it destructed or clean, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to have a great pair of utility bottoms. You need a great pair of utility bottoms because you can't wear jeans every single day. I mean, you can, but let's mix it up. And if you're gonna mix it up, you might as well feel really, really good in the pant that you grab. So that level 99 Lara, one of my favorites. You need a core tank be it a muscle tank with that great crew neck or something with a little bit more of a cutaway and a V-neck in that city tank from Z Supply. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous piece. You need an easy layer. So grab yourself a sweatshirt. I am partial to a hoodie or maybe something with a little bit of print just to add some novelty. Camel goes with everything, so why not lean into that? You need a fabulous jacket. Now that shacket is such a fun option because it's lightweight linen stretch and really can go with any of the dresses and jumpsuits I just walked through or looks great with the jean and or a denim jacket because you know you're gonna wear it a million times, right gang? Okay, then four tops. A great little graphic tee because say what you feel, say what you mean and graphics just look good with anything, especially when you pop it underneath a little jacket. A novelty tee. So something that has a little bit of interest maybe in the sleeve, a little bit more coverage as we're working through this medium time of year. And then the little surprise piece, this great button down because it can act like a jacket. It feels polished and put together. You can wear it open. You can wear it closed. It comes in denim or in white and it's cloth and stone so you know you're going to wear it a million times. I didn't even talk about shoes, but you know what I'm going to tell you. You need a pair of white sneakers and a pair of slides. Done. Okay, that was an education in capsule dressing like nobody's business, right gang? I hope this gave you some great ideas on how to build that wardrobe. I am thinking of all of you who did not shop last year and you are looking in your closet and you are thinking, I literally have nothing to wear. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna solve it for you. Get all these pieces online, ask for them in your transcend, or of course, as always, get into your every store and let us style you. It's what we do best. Thank you so much. Such a fun live. You totally brightened my day. And who cares if we were five minutes late? I mean, this made up for it times 10, right gang? Okay, thanks so much. We will see you soon. Take care.